found my way. I found my way. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day. 'Cause I found my way. I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. 'Cause I found my way. To another episode of our Drifter Challenge, and as you can see, we are just here with Jaden and the family. If you are not part of the Raven family, but you want to be part of the Raven family, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that it does remind you when new episodes go live on the channel. And today is the big day where we are going to be sending off a final goodbye to our beautiful Gen 1 and heading into our Gen 2. It is our twins birthday. They are going to be heading into their young adult lives. They have a birthday in this episode. So as you can see, it is Saturday at one o'clock in the morning. They are just up having a little bit to eat here. The boys are still fast asleep, but the girls are up. And as you can see, Jaden is just making some breakfast. <clears throat> she is feeling a little hungry but she's knowing that everyone else when they get up is also going to want to get something to eat so she's like I might as well go ahead and fix some food so she's just gonna whip up some eggs and toast here and so she's just having a little bit of a conversation with Adelaide while she cooks her breakfast and the breakfast for the family and the boys are just in there sleeping away Adelaide, on the other hand, doesn't really have time for much chatter. As you can see, she is getting herself a little bit of a workout in, and now she's like, I've got to go for a shower, Mom. So she's like, okay, that's fine, dear. Go get yourself a shower. I'm just going to finish up on breakfast. So as you can see, they clearly have had themselves an early rise this morning. I don't really know why it is that they rose in so early, but... They went to bed super, super early, and now here we are. It is like 1.45 in the morning, and they're up. And Jaden has been experiencing a ton of hot flashes lately. She is currently right in the midst of going through menopause, so she is bloody miserable. She cannot get enough fluids into her body. She is constantly going over to the fridge and grabbing herself glasses of water because she is just overly heated and she's like oh i'm just dying of a heat stroke not thinking like it's not that you're hot like you have ac in the house that's not the issue honey it's it's literally your hormones so they're just having a talk and she's like so honey have you made any more decisions about what you want to do when you leave the house and she's like yes mother i already told you what my plans were and she's like Oh, that's still your plan and she's like yes mother and she's like I just kind of figured maybe you might have changed your plans and you might have thought more about maybe I don't know going to school or something you know you could get a nice dorm and she's like mom I've already told you what I want to do I'm gonna get myself some land see there she goes with the water I'm gonna get myself some land and I'm going to start a garden and that is what I want to do and she's like okay Adelaide I'm not trying to discourage you from doing what it is that you dream of or love I just really don't want you to have a hard life and she's like mom I'm not against hard work I watched what you have built well actually I didn't watch what you have built but I see what you have built and I admire you for that and I want to be like that and so this is what I want for myself and she's like okay just let me give you a word of, of advice will you listen to that and she's like I'll listen to anything mom of course and she's like don't give up when it gets really really hard and you feel like you can't make it another day keep pushing forward okay you have to she's like but also if you decide that you want to go to school you get such good grades Adelaide you could make it in university and she's like yeah mom I know I get good grades I realize I'm a good student it's not that I don't want to go to university because I don't think I can I can I don't want to go to university because it's not the life I want for myself and Jaden's like oh she's so stubborn just like I was yes Yes, Jaden. Yes, she is. So she's just finishing up her breakfast here, but Adelaide has gone and laid down to have herself a little bit of a rest. She got tired of that conversation and she kind of feels like maybe her mom doesn't really fully support her. And it's really not that Jaden doesn't support her. It's just that Jaden understands the hard work that comes from a rags to riches lifestyle 
And it is really, really hard when all you have is to forage off the land and to okay. live off the land. And she's concerned that Adelaide wants to go backwards in time as opposed to, you know, them being able to give her a little bit of money and for her to go to school. And, you know, she just doesn't want her to go out there starting with zero and having to live off the land. Like, that is a very difficult life. But, you know, giving your child a pack of seeds and being like, here you go, have fun, just doesn't seem like something that Jaden is, is keen on doing when, you know, she, she lived that life already herself. So she's just going to head out here and she's going to start a fire and she's going to ponder. Oh, she's going to catch herself on fire first. Hold on one second. Okay, let's, let's, oh great. Now we have ourselves a burnt arm. She's like, well, son of a bitch. <laughs> Things aren't going her way this morning, but she's just going to sit out here next to the fire and she's just going to ponder this. And she's like, oh, I remember back when I was here and I had literally a piece of cardboard and that was all I had to my name. And I had to discourage this land for seeds and make, you know, a plot of land flourish. And she's like, I just want so much more for Adelaide than that. I can't believe that's the life that she's decided that she wants to do. Like, I don't understand why she would want to live my life. And Jaden's just really uh, not sure why Adelaide would want to follow in her footsteps. And she's really troubled by it. Oh, She's like, okay, I really wanted that marshmallow. Maybe if I sit over here, the angle will be better. <laughs> I don't think that's what it is, Jaden. I think you just weren't paying attention because you were so deeply lost in thought over your daughter. And so she is just really, really pondering this whole situation. And I think, you know, a little bit she she's really just concerned. Like... It's not that they are more keen on, you know, the life that Rebels kind of picked for himself, you know, going to university and being a big, you know, athlete and all of that. It's just they know that life's going to be easier. You know, he's going to go to school. He's going to get an education. He's going to get a good job. He's going to make money. Whereas she's going to have to fight for everything she has. And Jaden worries about that. Hey, Mom, what are you up to? And she's like, I'm just thinking about you, dear. And she's like, oh, my gosh, Mom, are you still going on about this? I'm really going to be fine. I don't know why you're so been out of shape about this. You did this. I have your blood running through my veins. If you did this, I can do this. I know I can, Mom. I'm not worried about it, and neither should you be. Stop worrying about me. I'm going to be fine. <sighs> so... I think Jaden really is getting to a point where she's going to have to let it go because Adelaide's kind of getting a little bit fed up with the fact that she doesn't feel very supported by her mom. And so Jaden, if you don't want Adelaide thinking that you don't support her dreams, you better give it up, child. You better give it up. So she's going to go in and get herself another glass of water because, again, menopause. And today is Nectar Day, so they are going to be celebrating Nectar Day for the day. Um, Nectar Day basically just means they need to enjoy drinks. And Jaden's choice of drinks for the day is water. She is going to be drinking a lot of water. And so she's like, good morning, Rebel. How are you? And I made eggs and toast and you opted for pancakes. And he's like, um, it's carb day, mom. It's carb day. And she's like, okay, dear. He's like, I've got a carb load. And she's like, oh, you athletes. All right, that's fine. Carb it up. And he's like, okay, thanks. And so they're just singing about Nectar Day, as you can see. And so she's going to go ahead and have herself a drink here so that she can go ahead and meet that check, check it off the list here. And she's like, well, have you decided what you're going to do for your future? You guys know that it's getting really close to your birthdays. And they're like, yeah, mom, we know it's our birthdays. And she's like, I was already talking to Adelaide about what she's going to do. And he's like, yeah, I know. She hasn't changed her mind, mom. I hope you haven't dissuaded her or tried to dissuade her. Like, she needs to feel like you're going to support her. I know that you guys, you know, aren't as excited for her as you are for me. But you need to support her, too. And she's like, okay with the horn. What do you mean we aren't supporting her? We are absolutely supporting her just like we're supporting you. Don't say that we're not supporting her. 
Well, I'm just saying that she feels like you're not supporting her. And she needs to feel like you're supporting her as much as you're supporting me. Adelaide's like, yes, what he said, exactly that. That is exactly how I feel. Thank you, Rebel. What are we talking about? Marcus says as he comes into the kitchen and sits down to have some rice cakes. Why is no one eating the eggs and toast that I made? I made a lovely plate of eggs and toast and no one is eating them. Sorry, dear. I just, you know, carb day. Oh my God, with the carb day. <laughs> Why did no one tell me it was carb day? I would have made a new plate of pancakes. <sighs> you men and your athletics. Fine, it's carb day. Eat your bloody rice cakes, eat your bloody pancakes, and I'll put the eggs and toast in the fridge. <sighs> anyway, we were just saying... I was just asking the kids about their future, and I was getting an earful from Rebel about the fact that we're not supporting Adelaide. But we are supporting Adelaide. Well, clearly Adelaide doesn't feel that we're supporting her, but we are. I understand that we are. She just doesn't feel that we are. Okay, dear. Ugh, fine. Don't okay, dear me. So, Jaden is clearly to a place where she just feels like she's in between a rock and a hard place here because... She can't win for losing. All right, Jaden, go on outside and take out some of that aggression. What can you do? She's like, no, I'll just put, do a couple of push-ups. Here you are complaining about your family athletes and you're doing push-ups in the living room. Clearly this whole family is a family of athletes. So, I mean, really, let's talk about that, shall we? Everyone in the family is athletic and everyone in the family likes to garden. This is the way it is. Your mother told me that you feel like we're not supporting you. I just wanted to let you know that we are absolutely supporting you. Yes, Adelaide, we are absolutely supporting you. Well, you know, I just don't feel like sometimes you guys support me as much as you're supporting Rebel. I know that you're very excited that Rebel wants to go to university and get into athletics. And sometimes I feel like you guys just aren't as supportive of my dream to go and live off the land. And it's really difficult for me to just tell you guys that I don't want to go to university. I know that you want better for me than to go live off the land. But that is my dream. Well, if that's your dream, then that's your dream. And we will accept your dream and we support your dream. I don't want you to feel like we aren't supportive of you. It's just that we worry about you. We're your parents. We're allowed to worry. That doesn't mean we don't support you. We support you. Yes, Adelaide, we absolutely support you 100% what your mother said. Okay, Dad, I apologize if I've upset you. Well, you have upset us. Don't think that we're not supportive of you. You telling us we don't support you is like saying the sun doesn't sh doesn't shine in the sky, which, which is an absolute lie. It just does, Adelaide. It just does. And we just do. Okay, Dad, well, just calm down. Well, I'm just saying, we, we support you, and we support both of you. Okay? Okay. Very good. So, the the conversation of the morning has obviously gotten a little <laughs> out of hand. But I think the, the point that everyone is trying to get to here is that no one is really, you know, f understanding where Adelaide's coming from. It's not that she doesn't think her parents support her. It's just that she feels that they support maybe Rebel a little bit more than they support her. And it's not that they <clears throat> do. It's just they really have no reason to worry about Rebel while they do have a lot of reason to worry about Adelaide. Rebel is going to have a very cushy life and she is going to have a very hard life. And so they worry. And I think any parent in that situation would worry. And as you can see, Jaden has just gone out back to shoot some hoops because, you know, athletics. You know, as she complains about her athletic family and she's in the back throwing hoops. She's supposed to be painting, but nope, she is playing ball. So, Marcus is just tending to the garden. He has really taken up an interest in gardening as he's gotten a little bit older here. Not to say he's not still into his athletics because trust me, he totally is. Marcus is always down to do a little bit of push-ups or sit-ups or even to go out back and throw a little bit of hoops as well. But he has really, really taken a liking into the garden recently and he goes and he talks to the plants and he does a lot of the harvesting and he has really, really taken up an interest in the plants lately. 
Not to mention, we have our twins who also do help in the gardening as well. So when I said that this family is a very athletic family and a very garden loving family, I meant that across the board. All four of them love athletics and all four of them love their plants. Now mind you, there's not a whole lot else for them to do in this family. There is not a TV, there is not a whole lot. So they do what hobbies they can do here. So maybe that's why. But they are having themselves a little shootout competition here. And she's like, well, what do you think? And he's like, about what? And she's like, he's like, about the ball? I think that you suck and I'm going to win. And she's like, not about that, Marcus. I'm talking about Adelaide. What do you think? And he's like, oh, I think we handled that well. We are great parents. And she's like, of course we are. But that's not what I meant either. And he's like, well, what do you mean? You need to be a little bit more specific. I'm not a mind reader. She's like, I just think, like, do you think that she believed us? Because I don't know anymore. Like, obviously we support her. Do you think she believes that we support her? And he's like, I think she knows that we support her. I just think that she's struggling with the fact that she's not understanding our worries. And she's like, Ugh. well, how are we going to make her understand that? He said, nothing's going to make her understand that until she has a kid of her own. She's like, oh, dear God, I'm not ready for that. Well, me neither. So she's just not going to understand. And so he runs off. <laughs> oh. But she has decided that she is going to go ahead and tend to the gardening a little bit. She just wants to harvest this plant that's over here. And then she is going to go and spray some of these bugs. And then uh -huh. she is going to fertilize everything. Oh, there are no bugs to spray. So she's just going to fertilize everything. So I'm just going to have her fertilize all of the plants here. And we are going to evolve some of the plants that need to be evolved. And she's just going to tend to her little garden that she has here that she started when, when she first moved in to this little plot of land that she raised up. It's the only thing that's still left. All of the flowers that she tried to grow in the front have since died. But the vegetables that she grew here are still standing strong for her. I mean, she does have a few flowers that grow here on the side of the house as well. But I think those were from the flower bunny. Um, but these original plants that she put in are still going strong for her and so she is going to just give them a good fertilize. And as you can see, Rebel and Adelaide are just in the house and they're having a bit of a conversation and he's just checking on her and he's like, are you okay? And she's like, yeah, I'm fine. And he's like, I know that the parents can seem like they're a little rough on you, but... Just know that they do love you. They do support you. They just have a really weird way of showing it. And she's like, I know that. She's like, I just don't understand their worry for me. And he's like, well, of course they're going to worry for you. You're their only daughter. <laughs> and she's like, I just don't understand that. And he's like, I don't think you ever will understand that, Adelaide. You don't have any kids of your own. And she's like, okay, that, that I understand. <laughs> and Marcus is like, what are you kids talking about? And Revel's like, I was just explaining to Adelaide that, you know, the reason you guys worry so much for her is because she's your only daughter and that she's not going to understand you guys' worry because she doesn't have kids of her own. And he's like, that's pretty smart of you, son. He's like, well, that's why I'm going to university, Pop. But as you can see, Jaden is finally getting a little bit of painting in. She finally completed this painting that I've been trying to get her to do all day long. We're going to get her to go ahead and sell it here. But we're just going to invite in this teen boy here because I believe he is friends with Adelaide and um, Rebel. And so we'll let him come in and hang out here on this Nectar Day. And we're going to sell this masterpiece to the gallery. Good job, Jaden. We are so proud of you for painting that. We got 3,000 simoleons for that, so that was awesome. Adelaide is tired, so she's just going to go have herself a quick nap while this child comes and eats our food. We'll just help yourself. Oh my gosh, he's not eating our food. He's cleaning up after us. Okay, that is so nice. Thank you for that. I'm fairly certain, though, did you just break our sink? No, you didn't. Okay. 
Now we have some other random person that's just shown up. We just have random people showing up at our house. We love, we love this. I don't know who you are, but thanks for coming to visit. We don't get visitors very often, so we'll just let Rebel come on out here. Maybe he'll come and say hello to everybody. And Jaden is just taking care of a little bit of her needs, and then I'm going to have her go ahead and go out back, and she can just grill up some food for everybody, and then we'll call everyone to a meal. It probably is getting about that time that everyone is going to be getting hungry, so we will make sure that there is food for everyone available to eat. She is once again having herself a hot flash. It doesn't help that we are in the middle of a desert in a heat storm and you're over the grill cooking. So that's doubly hot, triply hot even, and you're in the middle of a hot flash. So there's that. But finish grilling these and then you can call everyone to a meal, Jaden. Everything will be fine. You can get yourself a nice glass of cool water at some point and maybe it'll cool you down. Why are you taking that in there? That is not where that belongs. Okay, I will move it for you, no worries. Food does not belong in the bathroom. That is not sanitary. That's quite disgusting, actually. Go ahead and call everyone to a meal. She's like, come on in, everyone. Grab yourself a plate. Supper's ready. Well, actually, it's more like, oh, I guess it could be an early, early supper. It's like 3, almost 4 p.m. So everyone's just going to come in and grab themselves a plate. Again, the only person that would not eat this would be Adelaide because she does not eat meat, and this is a plate full of nothing but meat. What are you like, Jaden? Do you not like to feed your daughter? Ugh, I don't even know anymore with you. So she is just spending her time here talking to Rebel and Max Villarreal. And she is like, how was your nectar day? Is everything going well with it? And Rebel's like, it's been okay so far. I mean, aside from all of the, you know, discussions on the family, but other than that, and she's like, well, I'm going to go get a couple of shift hours in at work. You guys enjoy the food and I'll be back in a couple of hours. So it is about 9.30 p.m. Jaden is back from work and she took herself a nap. And she is just up and getting some things ready for the children's birthday. So she is currently in the process of making them a matcha tea cake. And she is just cooking away. And as you can see, everyone is just kind of dealing with themselves. We have Marcus who is just kind of overlooking and supervising the cake baking skills. And she has decided she likes cooking. Yes, you can like cooking. We love that for you, Queen. And I believe Adelaide is in the washroom. She was a minute ago. And Rebel is setting the table. Uh -huh. What a little sweet bean he is. And Marcus is just going to go ahead and get himself a bath. So I am going to just get her to put some candles on this cake. And then we're going to put it on this counter here and that way it is out of the way and when it is time for them to blow out their candles it will be ready for them but for the meantime we're gonna go ahead and get everyone into bed they need to get some sleep because their birthday is in the morning she's gonna go ahead and tell them look guys it is like 11 o'clock almost you need to go ahead and go to bed so she's going to influence both of them to go to sleep she is not tired because she came home from work and slept for a little while. So she is going probably to get a little bit of painting in if I can get her to paint. <laughs> if I'm lucky, I'm going to try to get her to get a little bit of painting done. But she's going to try to get both of the children to go ahead and go to bed. And then I am going to see if I can get her to paint. Nope, she's like, I don't want to paint. I want to go out here and play ball. Okay, Jaden, what are you like? Ever since I got them that basketball hoop, she just wants to play ball. I can't get her to paint now because she just wants to play ball all the time. Marcus is in here talking to Rebel about, obviously, as we know, sports. That's all these two talk about. He's like, so have you gone ahead and applied? And 
for your scholarships and all of that and Rebel's like, I am working on it. I have gone ahead and filled out the stuff, but I haven't sent it in yet. And he's like, okay. So they are just discussing all of that. She's just out here dribbling her little life away. <laughs> but she's like, you know what I need in my life? I need a little bit of Marcus time. So I am actually going to go ahead and let these two have a little bit of alone time because it has been quite some time actually since Sulani since they have had any time alone together so they're just gonna have themselves a little bit of a woohoo woo they could use a little bit of fun in their life so that's what we're going to do so we're just gonna let them have a little bit of a woohoo here and then everyone is gonna go ahead and get themselves some sleep they have not had any uh, alone adult time in quite some time and so they are immensely enjoying each other's company and she is like just loving the fact that they are taking the time to be alone with one another rebel is just in the other room playing some computer games and enjoying his time as a teenager on the computer and they are just finishing up here and then they are going to get a little bit of sleep rebel is going to get himself a bath but I'm going to get everyone into bed and then I will see you guys in the morning. It is about two o'clock in the morning and Jaden is outside having herself a campfire all by her lonesome. She is feeling very flirty after her little tryst with her hubby. And she just came out here to enjoy the campfire and the stars and she's just like, oh my goodness. But she's gonna go ahead and go inside here because she's like, I need to go in and clean up the sink. And so she's gonna wash her hands, clean up the sink, and then she is going to repair this tub because Rebel broke it. <laughs> so we're gonna get her to repair that. Rebel is in bed and well, actually, they're all in bed. The only one that is up is Jaden, and that is just because her needs are in pretty good shape. But when the twins get up in the morning, we will have them obviously go ahead and blow out their candles, and we will be aging them up to young adults. And when that happens, we will no longer be part of our Drifter 001 house. We will be taking over with zero, our 002 house. And this will be the end of our 001 house, guys. This is our finale. So we will no longer be playing with Jaden and this household. It's crazy to believe how far she has come, but she is going to go ahead and I'm just going to get her to play a little bit of video games here. And she is hopefully going to do that for me. I know she doesn't necessarily really care for video games and things of that nature. Yeah, she doesn't want to do it. She's like, maybe I could read a book. <laughs> she just really isn't one for technology. She's not a big fan. So that's why she doesn't have a TV and all of those things because she never was one that really cared for that kind of thing. So she, um, she never bought it. She just doesn't care for it. She would much rather be outside doing outside things. I can't believe that we are already to the end of really this um, generation and the end of this series for Drifter 001. It is surreal to think that we have come so far with our lovely Jaden. Let's see if we can get her to do a couple of paintings. She is ovulating. Oh my goodness. Um. They literally just woohooed. I hope that she didn't end up pregnant. I don't think with him being an elder that she can end up pregnant, but let's go ahead and get her to take a pregnancy test just to be safe because wouldn't that be the way for us to end this <laughs> with her having another baby? Oh my God, that would be awful. Okay, so let's queue up for that and we will go ahead and let her finish up this painting and then she can go take a pregnancy test and we can just make sure that she is not expecting a baby 
Oh, Jaden, please say it ain't so. Okay, that's all I've got to say for you is please no more babies. I mean, I realize that your two are about to be young adults, but that doesn't mean you need to start all over again because honestly, that would be so bad. That would be so, so bad. All right, so she's just going to go in here into the bathroom and Jaden is not pregnant. Okay, good. Good, 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 good girl. All right, so we are just going to get Rebel up and he is going to blow out his candles and Rebel <laughs> is aging up. Try again, big guy. There you go. All right, so Rebel is aging up now and let's see what he's gonna get. If we randomize his trait, he is going to get Vacationer. He loves to take vacations and is always happy when visiting the vacation destinations. All right, we love that for you, Rebel. Good job. And if we put some birthday candles back on this cake, please, Jaden, and then we will get our heir to come and she can blow out her candles and then we will see her and what she gets. And I will randomize for her, but if I don't like what we get, we may just handpick her some stuff because we are going to have her as our heir and so I want to make sure that she has some traits that are going to work with us. So gamer for Sims who love to play games on the PC or, con or console. I mean, yeah, that's fine. I think I'm also going to, I'm going to get rid of this Freegan one and I think I am going to give her the dance machine. Um, that way she can take, um, like she can dance for fun and things like that. All right, so she has aged up to a young adult as well. And just like that, folks, we are now complete with our Drifter 001 series. We now have our Drifter 002 and our next episode, we will be in a new location outside of this family, starting a brand new chapter of this story. So, this is the finale. I do have some pictures that are going to follow of our life in this family and in this series and where we had started and where we got to. So do please stay tuned for that here at the end. But until then, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you are notified when new episodes go live. And I will see you guys in the next one. And until then, I am going to fly for now. But bye, Ravens. Oh no, anxiety creeps up on me. Is this how it's supposed to feel? Tell me when it's over, I got some place that I gotta be. It won't leave. My friends, hey, get out of your comfort zone, it's a blessing in disguise. Get out of what you call home, your name is written in the sky. It might feel just like you're on your own, but baby, it's another lie. Remember you were made. I try to work, 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 but it doesn't work. I try to say something, but there's a word. I try to just
for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. I found my way. 